Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. Just a little preface before the actual gameplay video starts. The BF109 E7 for Japan actually just increased in BR after I created the initial gameplay video. So when I'm talking about the German BF109 E7 U2 being a higher BR than the Japanese BF109 E7, that is unfortunately no longer the case, or rather fortunately no longer the case. Again, if there's any confusion, that's exactly why. Now, that said, let's just get into the original video. Hey, 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 everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your gameplay for the BF109 E7 U2. This is a currently rank 2 battle rating 3.0 fighter for the German Air Tree, and this is a very special fighter in that it is no longer obtainable. So, this is only obtainable, at least no longer in game. You can only purchase this in the War Thunder Marketplace, where it costs about 190 GJN or about 190. $90 USD, which is pretty crazy. For a 3.0 BR prop plane, this thing is ridiculously expensive. Or you could just go to the Japanese Air Tech Tree and get yourself the BF109 E7, where the only difference between this and the German variant is the fact that this doesn't have access to bombs, and it's also 0.7 BR lower, oddly enough. I'm not really sure if there are any other differences, so that's 570 kilometers per hour, 20 second turn time, 17.8 second meter per second rate of climb, and... I guess in theory this has a worse turn time despite being a higher BR, so I'm not really sure what the deal is. Maybe they just haven't looked at the BR of the 109E7U2 recently, or maybe for whatever reason they're factoring in the fact that it has a pretty mediocre, though still usable, bomb load. Now that said, this is pretty much uh, just your standard BF109E series, uh, pretty much beyond the E4 you have more or less the same exact loadout. It's got okay 20mm cannons, the MG151s are superior to this. They are also belt fed, whereas I believe these are cartridge fed, whereas, um, you know, again, later variants like the F series typically have the 151. So that said, let's get into a few matches here, see what we could do. And um, you're almost kind of handicapping yourself if you're using this versus the Japanese tech tree version of it, which is, again, a superior version, being that it's a lower BR and for all intents and purposes is the same exact plane. So that said, let's get into it and have a good time. So I did the math, and the Japanese variant of this, the just the regular E7, again, the only difference is that it has no access to bombs. Uh, that variant costs $6 USD because it's about 1,000 GE. Uh, so that's just a touch over $6 USD. It's like $6 or 66 C, something like that. Anywho, this is $190. <laughs> He's really gonna chase me? Wow, I was not... That's a gutsy, gutsy DB7, man. This dude just got that plane the War Thunder anniversary, probably. Good for him. Good for him. Anywho, so we have ourselves this plane that is essentially the same, and uh, just so you guys know... Oh, okay, this guy is a bigger threat. Just so you guys know, the... Uh, whenever you see, like, you... Uh, on the on any of the German planes pretty much it, it indicates some sort of a if I'm not mistaken like a factory mod so oftentimes they would add uh, capability to carry bombs rockets things of that nature and those planes would be uh, they would be denoted with the U um, which is pretty cool you know so if you guys ever didn't know that now you know so we have a lag three here that's another plane, ultra rare, these, uh, what was it, like the Lag 323 or whatever it is. Uh, very, oh wow, I got that kill. Okay, I was not expecting that. The Lag 323, or the, I believe it's the 323, very, very rare aircraft in War Thunder, uh, at least prior to the War Thunder anniversary. And, ooh, here's my, okay, I only have LMGs, I really like to pilot snipe him. I'm not really going for a kill, but I got a crit. Not too shabby. So, I'm not really upset with that. Quick introduction to the BF109E7U2. This gameplay, I mean, it's a low BR plane. There's not really all too much interest in it. Other than the fact that this is a $190 aircraft. And ironically, Poetic Justice showed me being defeated by the $6 variant of it in the Japanese air tech tree. So that said, let's get into another match, have a good time, and get on with it. 
So there are a few strengths and weaknesses of this aircraft that I think are really worth mentioning. And now the BF 109E7U2 is more or less going to be about the same as every other uh, BF 109 in the Emil series. Now, this is more, when I say that, I mean more so when it comes to the airframe. It's the same airframe as with the E4, E1, E2, whatever. Same exact airframe, not really any different. I mean, the engine cowling and all that, pretty, uh, pretty typical of the E-Series. Now, um, this has fantastic performance, fantastic rate of climb. I mean, it took me very little time to reach this altitude and, for that matter, the speed, which is just wonderful. Now, it does overheat when using WEP. Um, that's pretty standard with this. I'm going to probably go for this SB2C, although probably should go for the Wyvern. Yeah, I'm going to go. Ooh, you know what? I don't know. Who should I go for? Oh, I should probably slow down, that's for sure. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, I should probably slow down. That is for damn sure. Guess I'm going to go for the Wyvern, though not necessarily by choice. Crit, 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 murder. Okay, perfect. Now we have the SP2C over here, going back for him. Hopefully he doesn't die. This thing has fantastic maneuverability. Like, look at this. What a bad man pajama got that kill for him. Good on him. Let's turn around and get into some other fights, but that's the big problem with this aircraft, you know? I mean, I was landing hits on the Wyvern pretty decently, and now I only have 36 rounds left in my cannon, which sucks. I mean, like, that, that legitimately is just bad. Um, you know, just having that limited amount of ammunition sucks, and that's a big difference between this and the MG 151s. Again, if I'm not mistaken, the 151 is belt fed as opposed to this being kind of cartridge fed. So we got the Spitfire here. He thinks he's going to be able to get me by surprise. Probably not. Hope not. So the E-Series functions more similarly to the Spitfire in terms of maneuverability. Got some nice hits on him. Doesn't look like I got a cannon hit though. Put them flappy boys on, doesn't matter. The Spitfire is still the king of maneuverability. Gotta get some speed here. I am a big fan of speed. Speed is a drug in War Thunder and in real life, but I'm only a, a fan of the speed in War Thunder. Or, yes, in War Thunder. That's it. So we have this uh, A36 here. We're gonna, all I have are my LMGs left. So really, I can only hope for pilot snipes and somehow setting the enemy on fire. That's it. So pretty limited in that role. Um, gonna go for this A36. He seems to be trying to get my buddy now. See if I can actually take him out with this. Wouldn't that be cool? Again, relying more or less on pilot snipes. Wow, got the kill. Very nice. So I've got what, two kills thus far? Not too shabby dabby. Again, this is a pretty maneuverable aircraft, all things considered. Not gonna, get, I got the, whoa, I got a ground kill. I still have about 1,000 rounds of ammunition left for this, which is just nice. Uh, so they only have what, two planes left? Again, this gameplay here, I'm not a huge fan. If you guys ever, uh, if you guys ever saw my gameplay uh, before, especially in low BRs, you probably know that I'm not a huge fan of playing low BR uh, when it comes to air, at least, just because you end up almost seal clubbing people. And, um, you know, those kills weren't all that difficult to get. I mean, I'm not getting a ton of kills, so I'm not saying I'm like this god or anything like that, but I'm not a huge fan of it, you know, uh, going, going back in, into lower BR. So, that said... I might play some air AB after this, not sure. I'm gonna get away from this guy. Sufficient damage for me. Ooh, we have a P-51 down here. Didn't even realize. Launched some LMGs on him. Might be able to get this kill, who knows? Oof, ugly shots. Okay, did some damage. I would accept a an assist here. That'd be nice. 
got the kill. Oh, Jesus. Man, what a bad time for that to have happened, right? LMGs. Come on. LMGs, just get the kill already. Okay, I'm going to turn back around for this F4. That P-51 seems pretty much drained now. Although, this AA fire is really starting to get me. Tell you what. Yeah. Oh, sweet. You got the P-51. So, that's three kills total. Nice. Three kills, one assist, and an additional ground kill. 3,073 points. Not too shabby. Let's have a good time for this last match. See what we could do. But, uh... You know, that match actually turned out to be better than I expected. So that said, let's get into it. As is tradition, at least for me, uh, whenever it comes to these lower BR matches, I like to end it on an Air AB match. So I used to play a lot of Air AB back in the day. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to go for these fighters. Going to get into the fur ball down here because that's what Air AB is all about. But I used to play a ton of Air AB back in the day. Uh, you know, that's how I got started with my squadron, VPO, uh, which is no longer my squadron. But I do have a squadron, actually, the Tankin' Squad, if you guys want to participate in that. Check out my Discord linked below, and you can actually apply for it there. Uh, but we are accepting applications, and we always like to have new members. So uh, if you guys are active and want to join, especially with World War Mode and all that coming out, uh, you know, I would greatly appreciate that consideration. But either way, again, this is a ton of fun, World War, or um, rather, Air AB. I think it gets overlooked a lot, especially with all the focus on top tier battles. But you can even play Air AB in top tier, and uh, it is also a ton of fun. I mean, just throwing jets around at, like, 12 Gs, <laughs> you know, and not... Not having your, your pilot black out. It's just wonderful. So, got this guy there. He's... Okay, he's dead now. And one of the great things about Air AB is that you have the... Ooh, want to pull up. Do not feel like having that guy ram me. Uh, one of the great things about Air AB is that you have the ability to reload midair. So, that's why I kind of just did right there. Got that A36 there. He's looking for me. Pull up. Pull down, not hit yet. He's still flying somehow. And also, flaps don't break, your wings don't break, unless, of course, they're shot to hell, which does happen quite a bit, uh, being that you do have the aim assist in the area B. Which is also, by the way, a great way to get used to aiming in War Thunder, if you guys uh, haven't already done that. So I'm just going to waste the last of those shots. Get onto my reloading. It's only like six seconds to reload my LMG, which is again fantastic. Around 20 seconds for the cannons, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I'm not upset by it. Um, ooh, I almost didn't go for this guy. Almost. But I decided to. Turn around. This is a less e eventful air AP than I was uh, hoping, but you know what? I mean, was it? I still got three kills to assist. Not doing too poorly. I'm going to probably want to come over the top here. This guy knows kind of what he's doing, I think. Got a crit. That should do enough to kill his maneuverability, hopefully. Force him out of there, and he's going to hit a wall, maybe. Maybe not. He's still alive somehow. Okay, there we go. Going to hop back on that reload here. But I got four kills to assist. None too shabby. Got the F4 here, gonna go in, my LMG's blazing, 2,000 rounds of ammunition, loaded up in them bad boys. Get an assist, get a kill, whatever happens, so long as it helps my team win, that's really what matters. Got an MB-152, gonna head on with him more likely than not. Actually, he's not even going for a head on with me. Perfect. Got a kill, fifth kill, I think. Got a buffalo here. And do, 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 he's going to head on last second, pull up, do not feel like being shot to death and then rammed by that guy, but who knows, you know, I mean, it is what it is. AB is just, it, AB is a free for all in my opinion, you know, I really don't care so much about the outcome of it, it's just fun, 
And uh, anyone who takes himself too seriously, especially in low BRAB, you know, just get a handle on yourself. This is a video game, you know? <laughs> it is what it is. So I'm going to probably die here. May as well take out ground target while I'm doing that. Ground target, that's not my team's ground target. And maybe get a crit on this guy. Who knows? Nope. Not going to. Okay. That's probably going to be about the end of this... Uh, this gameplay so not too bad got six kills to assist one ground kill one of the most fun things you could do in war thunder in my opinion is low tier air ab like by golly it is just a cluster well you guys know what i would be saying but uh it is pretty damn crazy either way thanks so much for watching again please consider joining my discord the uh tank and squad apply for it in the discord that'd be awesome would love to see you guys in there and uh, we are working on some cool things in the Discord. My main man, Plog, is uh, is cooking up some cool things. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's really helping out. And he's a, a great mod. So, either way, thanks again, guys. And I will see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.